Kyle here for IDJ Now at the Winter 2013 NAMM Show. I'm here at the EV booth with uh, Mark Storm. It's always good to see him. Kyle, great to see you, yeah, brother. You too, man. You too. <laughs> uh, we have some great speakers here this year at the EV. Uh, it, you know, do you want to tell me about them? Absolutely. Love to. Now, this is a, a great year for us. It's all about taking control of your sound. And we built two new brand new speakers uh, to help the users do that. Um, we have a 12-inch two-way called the ZLX 112P and the ZLX 15-inch, which is the ZLX 15P. 1,000 watts, uh, internal amplification, two channels in, and the coolest thing is the DSP control, where it actually gives the users the ability to shape the sound uh, with some presets, whether it's club sound, live sound, speech, or uh, music in general, um, and then uh, all sorts of other features in there that are pretty high tech. Sure. Coolest thing about it is the guys at IDJ now, you're going to sell this thing for $3.99 and $4.99. Good which prices. is a crazy price for EV sound quality. And again, you get all the good stuff that EV's done over the years. We've done a split baffle, uh, time alignment inside the box by aligning the magnets, all that, all that EV technology and engineering we've mastered for years in a price point unheard of. Sure, that's and, great price. And doesn't it look good? Yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Very sleek. Very sleek. Thanks. We, we spent a lot of time and energy on that. It's real pro gear. It looks pro. Uh, it's going to stand up uh, to it. Uh, it's got a monitor angle on it. And if you want to, you know, take out, take a look at the controls. Yeah, uh, let's look yeah. Let's All right. Look. Let's take a look. Again, it's all about simplicity and taking control. Uh, bottom line, it's got two independent channels in. Uh, it's got an LCD uh, display with a DSP built in. So just using the LCD for input and metering uh, is, is imperative. Game matching, whatever you're putting in, making sure you're not overdriving the inputs. Uh, but then you can select the DSP and go through whatever type of music you're doing that night. If it's live with acoustic type instruments, you're going to want to uh, hit the live setting. And it's as simple as pushing a button and going to mode and selecting club, speech, live or music and it's preset to sound great. A lot of times you're just going to use a speaker with a microphone, right? Um, and that speech setting makes sure that the box isn't going to resonate and give you feedback when you're just using a microphone. That's all you need it for. That's great for wedding ceremonies. Absolutely. DJs in general or, or doing uh, corporate events, yep. things like that. Um, and then you want to switch it into club mode and, and bang it. It, it's right there. Simple controls. We also included a 3.55 uh, millimeter input for an iPod, an iPhone, uh, MP3 player of any kind. So you can go right in there, put a microphone in, you are up and running. Again, a thousand watts of power. It's a lot. In a 12 inch two way and a 15 inch two way at a price point of $3.99 and $4.99. Can't beat and it. We and just, we just love the fact that IDJ, you're one of our best partners out there. You're going to have a lot of fun with that and your customers are going to enjoy it. It looks like a great product and there's a lot of features here with the DSP to go through. I mean, Absolutely. as far as different locations of where you're going to mount the speaker, whether it's pole mount or monitor correct. Uh, on the stage monitor. Exactly correct. Because yeah. um, again, there's different soundings. If you have it on a pole, it should sound one way. If you put it on the floor for a monitor, it's coupling with the floor. So there's this, this boundary effect that's yep. happening. So we got a setting to compensate for that. If you, pole, if you bracket mount it, which it can be mounted on a wall uh, for where these two handle locations are, um, it's boundary loading. Again, right. so we have right. a preset for that. Um, and then you have a crossover network that's built into the DSP for using an additional subwoofer. Okay. So if you need a little bit bigger rig and you want to add a subwoofer, we've got four different presets in there for you already. It's perfectly matched to our LiveX ELX 118B, sure. yep. um, so that preset's in there. But we also have crossover points at 120 hertz, 100 hertz, and 80 hertz. And is that a crossover output or a parallel it's, output? It's basically a high pass for the top, okay? okay? So Good. it just means this box will only play from 80 hertz up or 100 hertz up or 120, depending on what subwoofer you want to pair with it, because yep. that sub would play from that point down. Uh, so we tried to build, uh, we over-engineered it. I'll just be honest with yeah. you, Kyle. We put a ton of stuff in this thing uh, to help people take control of their sound and be confident in easy, quick setup, done deal. Cool. That's what it's all about. Cool. Right Thanks on. a lot, Mark. You got it, Kyle. All right. Man. Another great speaker from EV. For more information, you can check out idjnow.com.